knows how to get things done, has progressive economic views, wants to adopt technology, and we all believe that, and yet he's a person, human being, who really is selfless, believes in doing good for the common man, believes in the principles of truth. I think the general feeling is of excitement and hope, uh, not just about uh, Prime Minister Modi's visit, but uh, when he got elected as the leader of our country. Uh, I think that it will be uh, a lot of unintended benefits of uh, his visit, uh, like uh, bringing the whole uh, Indian community together under one umbrella because we do a lot of different things. There are subsections of community because of language differences and differences of different uh, faiths, uh, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, um, Christians and so on. So I think that if there will be an unintended benefit that it is for the greater good of India because that's the language he speaks. And I think uh, Modi sees us as people who really are capable of bridging the gap between India and the Western world because we can again talk the language of the Western world. We relate to India, we are passionate about India, we want India to do well, we are product of India. So I think the excitement is uh, very contagious, people uh, wish they could do more. Uh, they, they wish they could uh, help. Uh, there are people who have come for, forward and say, we don't want any benefit. We don't want any salary. How can we help? This is an issue very important to me because I come from a family of three girls and I have two daughters. Uh, I think the, the Beti Bachao uh, slogan uh, is... Uh, appropriate, uh, much needed because so far in last 45 years that I have noticed uh, India and its uh, women's issues, people have not even given important, they have not even talked about the fact that it is an issue which is grave and it needs to be addressed. So this is a great starting point. I think all these steps uh, of in infrastructure, cleanliness are extremely important. They are very visible things that every outsider notices in India, including our next generation of Indians who are outside India and who go and visit India. They want to be proud of the country and it's hard to be proud of a country where not just that it's not clean, there is no importance given to cleanliness. How can that be that people are not picking up, they are throwing things around? So uh, absolutely this is uh, very important. So I think uh, we all want to be progressive, we want to be uh, rebuilding, uh, building our infrastructure, extremely important because it reduces the efficiency of the system. If you, it takes you five hours to go um, 100 miles, uh, that means you are going to make progress at a slower rate than compared to when it takes you one hour to uh, cover 100 miles. So in, it is very important. Uh, it will open up communication. And again, I would say that opening up uh, people coming and visiting India is good because they will see that uh, they will add to the Indian culture by their thoughts and ideas and they will gain from Indian culture because of their thoughts and ideas which are invaluable in certain ways. So I think there will be an impression left that India's India has changed, there is a new rule, there is a new wave of thinking, there is a new leadership which is capable of doing and I think uh, it is going to have a very profound effect and I'm really excited that a person like him is going to really touch the souls of Americans in general and our next generation in general besides the Indian community.